Business. What do you think about this trend that's been going on the last few years with um, the really mm -hmm. cheap clothing lines? I w okay. I hate it. <laughs> right. I hate it. I worked with um, mm -hmm. an e-commerce brand. She was buying cheap mm -hmm. stuff from China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like... I'm not really into it. I, I mean, she had a section where she was paying, um, I guess, artists kind of just doing like um, right. illustrations and then she would pay them for that and then she would have like a, a, a vendor print on a shirt or a canvas bag. That was what I was fine with. But when she also ventured into the, the, the quick, get quick fast and just buy from right. Alibaba and all these little cheap things. And I'm like, I see this with another brand and I don't feel, yeah, I I just have a lot of integrity. That's a part of my, my value system. And I don't really feel like I need to attach my brand to this because it wasn't like I was behind the scenes and you don't see me. I was a part of the videos where it's like, how to Tuesdays where you how do you wear this so my face is in these broadcasts on Instagram or on Facebook and stuff like that um but you yeah, know I don't I don't like it I mean I'm not going to say that I wasn't a part of it but I, I was in my 20s I was young I was yeah. broke I didn't exactly, know how to manage yeah. my money but I mean when I understood money and I do like a cost breakdown of how much you're spending which I also uh -huh. go over that in the book um you're spending more money with the cheap stuff versus the expensive stuff. Everyone can complain like, oh, this shirt is like $80, but you're buying this $12, $12 shirt after like two washes, you're throwing it away, you're buying it again, two washes, you're throwing it away, and depending on how much you wear it, it's going to be over $80. So, I mean, um, yeah, which I go over it in the book. It's, it's chapter four in the in-between chapter. It's cost per wear. I know this thing right. like the back of my hand. So, um, yeah, I just go, yeah, when I see on Instagram, I could just, I could just see like, oh, they right, bought that right, from right. Living. Like, like, and, and then I when just, you get up close, I can tell. And just forget it. <laughs> oh, you can forget about it. You can forget about it. When I look in the end scenes, how sloppy it is and how the fridges, it's, it's just the fray. Yeah, I no. have clothes. No. Okay, I have clothes from. Um, not very, very expensive clothes, but clothes that were, you know, good clothes, mm -hmm. right? As you say, quality that right. I have had since before I left the States from like, I don't even want to say the date, okay? I still have them mm -hmm. in my closet. And it's like they're just about brand new, you know? And, right. it's, and I just wear them over and mm -hmm. over and over again. Um, and because they're classic, classic, you know, I, I, mm -hmm. you can still wear them. I mean, sometimes I'm like, I think yeah. you should go now. But then I feel so bad because it, they're good, you know, they're good quality clothes. Clothes. And mm -hmm. then you get other stuff and it's like. Yeah. Qu yeah. Quality clothes does not mean the name. It, it's the fabric content is what is all about how much show life and also your your care afterwards a lot of people don't realize like you have to like care for the cold read the read the labels when you wash like some fabrics need to have cold water right. for a reason what do you think about logos um it depends on the person i'm not into big gaudy stuff i like co colors textures and like um i'm being to accessories so i don't like too much clash going on i am a bald woman so big gorgeous accessories like this or earrings is my thing and then like bright colors so color blocking color textures and accessories i'm not into logos like that but if it's like a bottega bag because it's they don't have logos they have yeah. like structure the, the weaving and stuff like that. I like stuff like that, like the textures and playing around with that. But as far as logos, I'm not in really into that. That's not my thing. Like overall, do you make your own clothes also? Oh my! I do. I start. I, yeah, I started doing. I started picking that back up during the pandemic because we. Yeah. I had nothing to do for the first eight months. I was fine, but then like I'm like, all right, what are we doing? My clientele started slowing down, and then like I started driving myself crazy. Y'all think I got my sewing stuff right here? 
Oh yeah, pins. my mom used to have one of those. Oh my goodness. You just brought back some memories. Yeah, I started. Me. Yeah. Yeah, I started picking it back up, reworking thrift stuff. Yeah, I don't I have any I've been in the in the stores because of clients, but like for me, I don't yeah, I don't it's it's not suitable for me.